Oh my goodness, guys, God makes me feel as if I'm the only person in the world who he loves so, so much. With all this attention and love I received from him, like yesterday, I had finished up work and I said, let me hang out with God for a little bit on tumblr.com. And a verse came up, some verses came up from 1 John 4, verses 16 through 18, and they said, God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. This is how love is made complete among us so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment. In this world, we are like Jesus. There is no fear in love, but for perfect love casts away fear, drives out fear. So I took that, those words, there is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear as my little wing from God. And I took like a high five from God that his love drives away all the fear in my life, like all my worries and stresses just melt away when I put them in a God perspective that he shows up over and over and over again for me, no matter the trouble of the situation. He shows up and says, who's messing with my girl? And he goes to work on my behalf in the spiritual realm. So all the fear that I can have, it can disappear because I know God loves me and he's standing with me no matter what comes my way. So that was what I consider a high five from him when I have my appointments with him. So this morning, I was having an appointment with him on our website and usually I would just go to, depending on the time, I would pick a page number, but today I say I'm gonna just go with the first page. And I go on there and the same message shows up again. His love cast away all my fears. And this was just an old post that I decided to reshare yesterday. And so after reading that and just feeling so good again, like, oh, God, thank you for that reminder again. Then I remember I promised to have an appointment with God with my husband. So five minutes later, I'm running, rushing to go and have an appointment with my husband. And we opened this thick meditation book. I've shown it to you guys, 700 pages. And I just said a prayer before starting that. And I say, God, what do you have to say to my husband and me today? You know, just really asking him, what does he have to say? And I just randomly opened the page, guys. And he just said, and this book is written as if he's speaking to us at that moment. He said, let my love see into the inter inner recesses of your being. Do not close off any part of yourself from me and went on with a very beautiful message from him. And at the very end, he says, enjoy my perfect love, which expels every trace of fear. You know, and that was for him, for all of this from yesterday to this morning on my website to open this big, thick 700 page for those words to show up. It was just him revealing his presence with me and I got goosebumps all over. I showed it to my husband and I said, God is here with us. And it was just such a beautiful feeling that knowing that as I go through life, I'm not going through alone. alone. God's continual presence is with me. But I want you guys to notice how I con continually seek him. I seek him. I go to the Tumblr. I go to my website. I go to the Jesus Calling. I'm always looking and asking him, God, what do you have to say to me? And I want us all living life like that, intertwined with God, going to Him, spending time with Him, seeking to learn His character. This God is love character is so important. He's calling us to be the same as Him, loving everybody unconditionally, being His hands, His voice, His feet, everything in the world, so we could look up to Him for direction on a moment by moment basis with this character that he's training us on, like love and patience and loyalty and going the extra mile, you know, and kindness is where he's calling us all to be. And so that when we walk through, we can walk through life fearlessly. And God is our backup, going with us every step of the way. So don't miss out, guys, on the best life with him. Have your appointments with him. Peace.